All right, we are back. Silly Direct DirectX 11, ruining all of our hopes and dreams. So Scorched Earth for the Envoys, and then straight on to Space Race. Switch this stuff up. Um, actually, we do need to run this. We'll run it in two turns. How's that? Two turns won't make a huge difference. We'll let Public Works complete. Take this. Give me the levels. Give me cryptography. There we go. Dude, you know what's a great way to make a grilled cheese? Don't know why I hate them when you're sober, but love them when you're drinking. I like grilled cheese in general. And, like, you can get, like, a classy grilled cheese with, like, really nice cheese and stuff and then you can also go totally lowbrow and it's just as good do like mix cream cheese with like just like cheddar and it's like the gooeyest and add bacon absolutely and it's like the gooeyest like it kind of I don't know it's really good it's really good it shouldn't be and it's embarrassing that it is but it's it's really good I don't like American cheese craft singles I don't like American cheese Yeah, I just don't. Yeah, dude, it's really good. It like it just like goos everywhere, and you can cook it. Ugh. Mm, I'm hungry now. Rome, can you not? Can you can you just not? All right, so Gandhi did expire. Um, they have this thing where they want to wait a turn, and that makes me nervous. Because if he declares on us, he could kick our ass too. Boar's Head cheese is the best. Boar's Head is good. Grandma Moff Manny. I agree. Quote of the day. If there's no point in the universe that we discover by methods of science, there is a point that we can give the universe by the way we live, by loving each other, by discovering things about nature, by creating works of art. Steven Weinberg, physicist. I love that quote. It's a good quote. That is a really good quote. Should be worth two now, yeah. So we can help their production quite a bit. And we already sent one here, right? So he's doing his thing. Um, let's see if other spaceports are being built. So we've got one resident there for when it's for when we're ready. Susa needs one. There's another city up here, isn't there? Where is my... Hopefully we can get some intel. Get our uh, scout, scout of an archaeologist. Oh, did we finish that already? Wait a minute. No, I wanted that. Oh, did it not? There we go. So that's turn 228, so we've got turn two, 258 to, to need to redeclare that. Research lab completed. Nice. Good for science and uh, broadcast center time. Damn, they also have a really good industrial zone. Let's at least get that locked in. I think I still want the research lab first. Oh, brave archaeologist. Find me this city. And there's snowy spices. Oh, not a city. Totally thought there was.
cool. Sure. All right, so he likes us a little bit. Look at us being friends with everybody. Except for Japan, because they're terrible people. Sorry if you're Japanese. So we'll run there for the growth and the production. Seems good. Oh, and did we find... Yeah, so there are a bunch of shipwrecks. That's going to be hard to get. Shipwreck... Still have a couple up there that we can grab. Any shipwrecks off of... Oh, 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 oh. So he's starting that one. Yep. This is going to be a spy-heavy game. What's the purple tie coloring? Uh, oops, builder, builder, builder. Oh, that means it's like a resource that can be improved. This is for mines. The uh, the sort of teal is for um, river lumber mills. These are choppable. Yeah, these spies are going to have to do work. Come on. For scouts, it calls out goody huts, yeah. Oh, we needed one there, too. Yeah, we have a ton of builder opportunities here. Okay, um... War is hell. Have to run tourism stuff. That seems good. It's all pretty much seems good. So 228 tourism all the way up to... Yeah, we got the Bolshoi as well. We missed out on Broadway. Um, and Sydney, unfortunately. All right, space race. Let's make sure we're not giving up any crazy market economy. Is pretty good. Market economy would be awesome if we had more trade routes. Like if we were doing the actual Victoria thing, where where we yeah, where we have double trade routes everywhere. This is the only one that matters. We can probably turn off our culture pretty quick here. Once we have this in social media, we're, we're, we don't have to run any culture policies. Eiffel Tower? Yeah, we haven't even tried yet. I'm still trying to get broadcast towers and trying to get a military that's strong enough to take on Japan so we can just take their wonders. Like, so many things to do. So many things to do. Get it all. I know. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> so far, I just see the one spaceport. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> no worries, man of Martin. Boss actually had work for me. The audacity. I agree. Those bosses. Pfft, what do they know? Benjamin Franklin may have discovered electricity, but it was the man who invented the meter who made the money. They're not even working this. So I will take that. Okay. Okay, archaeologists. Still have these two to grab. Ooh, there's that in the middle. Um, yeah, let's grab these offshore ones. Maybe start with that. Sure. Let's try. Um, so this affects one, two, three, four. No, it doesn't affect that. It really only affects these three, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna buy. I was thinking about buying that power plant, but I don't think it's quite worth it. How are we going to fight him? I guess we wait till this barracks is done. After computers, it's really all about um, military tech. So probably going to get like uh, rocket artillery and mechanized infantry. Come on, game. See, this, is, this isn't really my computer. It's just the game that's holding it up. It has just so many calculations to do. Hey, look at us improving our relationships. I like it. Oh, dear. Okay. Um, so our capital can produce things really, really quickly. And eventually get a really fast Royal Navy Dockyard. Um, so what have we missed out on recently? He got another artist. These are... Damn, Germany's going to grab those. God, in Persia could grab that one. Go, go, spies. It's the only thing I can think of. And then beyond that, um, he's going to grab another writer out from under us. We'll get the next artist, which is sculptures. And we are failing at musician points. Um, yeah, we really need to get our broadcast towers going. That's worth 10 science. So three turns till that. And then 14. Eesh. Oh, 
The money would be nice too. But we'll start with the production. Take the envoy, especially since we're going to want a military at six, so we get all the production in the encampments. Do you think we can win it? It's going to take some lucky rolls with our spies. So Berlin, got to go to Berlin. Yeah, it's going to take some some real luck to win this. Yeah, those uh river river uh lumber mills are really productive. It's quite nice. So we'll start with their production. The, the real problem is that there are two really, really good space race great people that are going to go to different civs. So it's going to take really balancing things out. Um, no, finished computer. Is my keyboard not working? My keyboard's not working. That's what's going on. Okay, I'm like, why is that? Why does that keep happening? So this will give us another spy as well. We want to finish computers. And Rome settled down here on top of the antiquity site. Assholes. Give me open borders. I'm going to do it mutually. That way he likes us more. Then I can go steal him. So this armory is almost done. Military Academy too. I think I'm going to buy them their Military Academy. That way they can start producing units. Oh, Eiffel Tower would be nice. But I, I'd rather take over. I think taking him over, leaving him with the city or something like that for the trade pressure. I think that seems like the best thing to do. Aluminum's good for units. Only have one charge left. Yeah, we could use even more builders. I think I can get Germany to come to war with me. That's actually a great idea, Aaron. Um, that might be something that we can do. That That's a real possibility. In fact, since we have an alliance, won't they, won't they come to war with me anyways? Oh no, joint war. So we'd need a little prompting. We'll see, we're, we're a ways off. We're a ways off from being able to fight him.
Rome just completed rocketry. So we're going to have to prevent everybody. Oh, man. I don't know how we win this. Bombs. Bombs would be good. You're not even working that. So I could take some production from you. Takes so long to fill those dang museums. Only run the risk of his of his military grabbing cities before I do. Yeah, that's true. If we do a joint war, Germany could take the cities and then we would be bummed out. I do think uh the longer this goes on, the more and more the uh, domination of Japan becomes important. So we have all of our archaeologists. No. But to really foul things up, you need a computer. I guess that is more important. You have art. You're good. You're good too. Okay. So that gives us another spy and some more tourism. We're up to a respectable tourism score um, thanks to the policies and things that we're running. None of this stuff helps us. Like, we have to get to here. So artillery, I think, is the most important part. We'll do artillery and mechanized infantry just because it's right there. Yeah, that's a good point. Rush artillery army. So once we get the military academy, we're going to start producing those things. I don't think national parks are doing anything for us. Anything closer? <sighs> Gandhi. Seriously? It's the shortest path you path you have. 
What the crap? All right, then Gandhi, I need um, I need this from you. So we can have open borders. Okay. Go, go, spies. Writers are gone, so he got the last one. Andy just got an artist, yeah. Oh, Hojo. You're really sealing your fate here, aren't you, bud? Let me go ahead and buy that. And then we can start running these. So 15 turns. So that's 15 turns alone. So why don't we just get these and then we'll reassess because we'll probably want a couple armies. Like at least two artillery armies. Maybe an observation balloon, which we can get anywhere. For the old late game war. At least this is an interesting game, I think. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy. All right. Because they are hard. Do we not have, uh, okay, modern, melee, and range. Does that count as siege weapons or no? Because we don't really need to run Grand Opera anymore. We don't have much for satellite broadcast to do. I'm curious to see. Maybe, I, maybe because we don't have those yet, let's just do this. Let's move that down there. Let's see if this um, shaves off our production time. It was 15 terms. I have a tough AI. I know, man. All these, well, all these, all these civ civs are really, really good. Okay, that did not change anything. It did not shave off. So that, so the siege weapon must be unique. Yeah, let's get up to social media on our own. Actually, globalization might help us more since we have to do the war first. Twenty-one turn spy. Oof. Only partially themed. Now, did that kill that guy? See, it didn't. I swear these guys have extra charges. Ranged and siege different class. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought, but it's worth a, sh worth a shot. 
Um, and it means we probably don't want to waste turn eight turns of running that. Let's go for the one turn switch. Start by gaining sources. Damn, he's got a big army. Sorry, pal. He's not going to like us so much. Oh, well. He'll get over it. Alright, so then... Excuse me. And that is pointless. Um, and we could run the tourism. We're, we're quite a bit away from that. Is there something else that's going to help us more in the meantime? This has got to be worth quite a bit of gold. 21.2... Forty-four. It's worth a fair amount of gold. All right, now we can run towards globalization, and then we'll come back for social media. Those don't get yeah none of that. Research telecommunications. Um, we could boost it, but I don't need the subs. I don't think. Is he at war with anybody, I wonder? I doubt it. Yeah, no. He hates Gandhi. And Rome. All right, we're starting to run out of uh, artifacts. Hopefully we can finish off these two museums. We need one, two, we need seven more. Was that his last charge? No, these guys last forever. Alliance expired. Let's declare friendship. Yes, good deal. Alliance, thank you very much. Success. Promotion to agent. Okay, good. Good. That's at least something. We'll see what kind of... Uh, if we can get a rocket scientist, we're going to be golden, but that was that wasn't a spaceport though. That was just his industrial zone. All right, what do we have left for artifacts? Um, Japan has a few. I can't really grab those. They've got some. Can't really grab those. I wish this guy could move there, but that's not really a possibility. So I guess we're going over there. Can you please move? I guess we'll try to get that one. 
All these units. Jesus. It's going to be a weird war because he's got all of his units like positioned towards Gandhi. I bet we convince Gandhi to go to war with them. When you launch a rocket, you're not really flying that rocket. You're just sort of hanging on. Source is gained. Here are bits for Aaron since she's been up since... since still being up since till, till almost 4 a.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aaron, you're crazy. You're crazy, and I love you. You're, you've got great support. I will give you a dollar. <laughs> I owe you a dollar, Aaron. Because those were to you. Alright, we can get that first, then. Can you frickin' move? It's getting real annoying. Um, so tech, so he's still not done with this. I think let's sabotage this as well. Finishing up some broadcast centers, which is nice. These guys are still available. It's really gonna suck. Seriously, move! Over there. It's fine. That's fine. God, I wonder if we just poured on. I wonder if we could just stall this out to where we could win it without doing the war and stuff. That being said, it'll be a lot more fun to go to war. So, no complete spaceports. Um, I've already got one on the way here. And these are for me. Thank you, Pyro. Thank you for the support, my, my friend. I appreciate it very, very much. Very, very cool of you. All right, so I don't see Germany doing anything else. Oh, Rome. Yeah. We haven't sent any to Rome yet. Travel to Antium. Sure. What are the game settings on this continent map? Anything else besides standard or balance? Nah. Ah. And Aaron with the more love. You guys feeling all the love this week. Dear Lord. Thank you guys so much. I return these. <laughs> Alright. I don't owe you anything. I owe you a smile. <laughs> hey. What's up, Zygmunt? Wel welcome. Welcome back, you schmexy bastard. Okay. I mean, our culture's kind of going up, so we're at 90. Let's see what we get per turn right now. It's 
because of our archaeological museum, honestly. Like it's it's pretty pretty darn good building. Pretty useful. There's no way we'd be winning this with anybody else because we have so few cities. Standard or abundant? Just standard. We we really don't ever go abundant. Rip ears? Uh oh, did I do something bad? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to rip your ears. Current tourism tourism is ninety. So let's see what we get per turn right now. We're not even running the um the policies. Because we're sort of gearing up for war, but it might not even be necessary. That being said, I, I kinda wanna kick Japan in the teeth a little bit. A lot of people play abundant, it seems. I think that's a multiplayer thing. I think I, like everybody on multiplayer seems to play abundant. So we're getting four per turn. I mean, it's something, but it's not a lot. Okay, that that's not done yet. Hmm. Hmm. You don't get promoted for this. I guess we'll just see if you can stay there. I wish these guys would stink and move. Ooh, ooh, grab that. That's a good one. That's a good one. Ooh. That, that, that's not fun. What about legendary? Yeah, we don't, we don't often do that either. We're good enough that we don't need that many advantages, I don't think. Oh my god. Can you guys stop? So hard to snag these stupid artifacts. So that's theme. So we just need five more, six more. <laughs> Basically pro by now. I mean, I don't know. It, it is the AI, right? So it's... Oh dear. Um, I can't even shoot that thing. That's gonna run amok. God dang it, Preslav. Oh. <laughs> More than qualified for NQ. I, maybe. After a while. I'm sure I could figure it out. All right, so we need to get to satellites and guidance systems. So that's 16 turns, 12 turns, so 28 turns. And we do want a few artillery armies that we can upgrade. So perhaps we can get rid of rationalism. Keep New Deal up there. And I'm gonna take just real fast professional army. So modest. <laughs> I, I, I'm modest. I'm a modest fellow. That's probably the only thing that we can upgrade at the moment. Could have some subs. What speed did we play the multiplayer ga game on? It was uh, like online speed or whatever. So it was way faster. Like we almost completed a whole game in uh, in an evening. Can you get into my territory? Let's make that a sub. I go for the one turn change again. I don't know why we're building this archaeologist. It seems like we have too many.
Jeez, the two of them, though. Is that your last one? Okay, so that's another themed museum. So we just have this one to finish up. I give you a TLDR. While we're England, we're going for culture. Uh, we have been very, very limited. We had basically seven cities the whole, or six cities like the whole game. And uh, turns out that's bad. You should have like eight to 12. And uh, we took this from Japan and we're sort of gearing up for a late game war with Japan. Um, he's not only going to space, but he's got a lot of great works. He's got a lot of wonders and things that would help us culturally. Um, so the plan right now is, even though we're slowly accumulating some tourism, um, to kind of I gear up to, to war. About and hell. You see, I have friends in both places. So, yeah. Yeah, let's get globalization for e-commerce. It's really, really strong, and it'll help our gold quite a bit. Hey, London can do stuff. Like, build another spy. Good idea. Can I please get up here? Please. Oh, you meant the multiplayer game. <laughs> Sorry, Burton. <laughs> I thought you meant this game. Um, multiplayer game was kind of cheese. I uh, I had to move. I played the Greeks. Um, and then, yeah, I, I stole one of Zygmunt's settlers right away. And uh, and he almost smashed me with war carts, but I, but I spammed my hoplites and was able to stave off. And then he never declared peace with me. Damn it, my trade routes. You were the cheese? I mean, it was all kind of cheese. Who does this? One, two, three. You can... Oh, no. One, two... Yeah, that should be mine. Um, and then we got to a point where I was able to take the science lead, but then Eminem started having issues with his computer, and... Uh, we had been playing like four hours, so we just kind of called it. I feel like I would have lost. Um, we could try for the Eiffel Tower. It's probably worth doing. Oh, I didn't switch policies. God damn it, I'm dumb. Oh well. See, I, I get into talking and I forget how to do things. Okay, almost there. We're almost there. Where's my other trade route? Yeah, there we go. We've got a backup. It's all good. Any plans on doing one in a couple weeks? Yeah, for sure. You thought if you trolled long enough, Fork and MM could wear you down. Yeah, it was basically like, uh, I felt like it was three on one. <laughs> a little bit. Not gonna lie. <laughs> felt like uh, pretty much everybody was gonna be gunning for me the entire game. Which is why I like I, I took the I took the pantheon of production to ancient and classical era units. That's how that's how hard I thought people would go on on me. Six to eight multiplayer games are the best. Yeah, for sure. Thoughts on John Curtin? I think he's amazing. I think he's really, really good. You lie. You lie that you were going to be peaceful. I don't believe that for a second. Might have been born at night, but I wasn't last night. You guys want a GM? Fun fact. I think you do. Um, I was born in my childhood house. I was not born in a hospital. I 
How about that? Thank you. <laughs> Ten bits for fun fact time. That's as fun as it got. Yeah, my mom had had two other kids, and she was just kind of like, yeah, I'm going to have a home birth. Why not? And so she did. And I was born, I believe, on a waterbed. So, yeah. Fun fact. <laughs> God, Chef feels terrible. Why did I think this city was going to be good? You knew there was something different about me. Yeah, absolutely. Did the doctors come to my house? Yeah, there was, like, a doctor and a nurse. Um, it was kind of weird because, like, my whole family was there, like, at my house. And then, like, within, I was born at, like, 9 o'clock at night or something like that. And, uh, like, the, at 8 the next morning, my dad was, like, parading me around the neighborhood, being like, this is my new, this is my new kid. This is my new kid. My dad doesn't sound like that. Sorry, dad. That's a bad impression. Um, but, yeah. This doesn't really help anything. I'm just going to lock it in and then start building uh, battleships, I think. Eh. Maybe the production would help. I don't know. You were born Smurf Blue. What? That's crazy, Zygmunt. That is a fun fact as well. Hey, this guy got promoted. Um, man. Would it be worth running a quartermaster? Now I'm just going to make him an ace driver. John Curtin or Peter? I think John Curtin. For most, for deity, anyways, maybe not for multiplayer. Sorry, Grand Moff, I miss, I miss the, uh, the first part of that question. You were nearly born in a car park. First of all, you said mum, and that's adorable. Mum left too late because your sister's labor was so long. She wasn't keen for that again. Wow. Usually a defect in the heart. Oh dear. Zygmunt has a good heart. Let's not. <laughs> Poor Zygmunt. Okay. Um, artillery the first almost done. Hey, good timing. You just took the promotion and you just, just finished that. Perfect. All right, and then we get to grab this. Up to almost 700 tourism without running two uh, policies. Mum is how you spell it in American, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's, 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 you know, I am American and uh, I, I happen to think it's adorable. I'm allowed to do that. Couple displeased cities from lack of amenities. We should try to trade with our buddies here. Seven gold per turn. Damn, I have to pay. What if I give you two for one? Seriously, I still have to pay? You're a dick. Oh, it's because he has silk, duh. Maybe Gandhi wants something. What do you want? What do you want, Gandhi? And some silk. 24 gold per turn. Oh, he has a couple relics. 
Oof. He does not want to give us that Odyssey. Okay, well. Sure. Definitely use the money. Give him some favorable trades. Oh, he's got that. Did you have silk? You did, right? Okay. So, Japan? Hey, buddy. You have it. So, he has... Yeah, a bunch of stuff we need to get. Oh, um... We should try to get our spy back. We'll do that, like, right before we declare war. <laughs> Artillery complete. So he has started that. Now, does he have any other completed? He's working on one there. Yeah, he's going to be a pain in the butt, huh? Sparta's not even done yet. So many. So many that he's working on. All right. I can't wait for this to finish. I have other important uh, places to go. We'll have to come back for the Germans. Everybody's getting their spaceship. Oh my goodness. So we did that. We're working on that. That's good. Man, Japan's been building theirs for a while too. Not done though. Hmm. I don't know where to send him. Do you experience when you get li do listening posts? No. No, you don't. All right, Pyro. Thanks for hanging out, man. Thanks for your uh, thanks for the tips and stuff. Appreciate it, dude, very much. It's really cool of you guys. Oh shit! Heck yeah, take that. Want to make all of our uh, trade routes international? <laughs> tips, tips, Zygmunt, tips. <laughs> you must be feeling better. Can I tell? Yes. Yes, I can. How do I feel about culture victory with Congo? I think that's the most relevant culture uh, leader. Yeah. Congo, if you're going for culture victory, Congo is probably the most powerful.
Let me get another encampment. Still no word on the new leaders? No. Top three favorite? Uh, Brazil, Japan, and Germany. I like Montezuma a lot, too. All right, we are almost full. Oh, dear. There's, like, nothing left. So he got one, and so did Germany. I might buy this. Plus four amenities is amazing. God, musicians are gone. So the only way we get more great works is if we take them from Japan. So there's really no point in even getting broadcast towers and stuff. Have you gone for a religious victory with anybody in the except Arabia in the challenge yet? Yeah, we got a successful religious victory with Russia and, and Poland. And we tried with Gandhi, but we failed. So we only tried like four times for religious victory. But we got it three out of the four times. Yeah, so this broadcast tower is pretty much useless. All the musicians are gone. Oh well. Probably need to switch into... Um, we'll, we'll run e-commerce to offset. Yeah, we're going to let's switch around our policies now. Okay. E-commerce. Um and Machiavellianism. Professional army is done. Tourism from music, even though that's not worth very much right now. God, his military is terrifying. Okay, so Hojo has started, so he completed this. So we get the artist, and is that the last one? Wow. That's the last one. Fe felt like there weren't that many artists in this game. Or just great people at all. I mean, I'm sure there were, but it's just weird. All right. And then let's send one of these up here to hasten up our military. Assuming we even do this. Rip Victoria? Maybe. We might be able to get it. We'll see. Expect a barb to come out. Yeah, see all this processing just takes a long time to finish these turns. Okay, um, that's full, that's full. Are they all full? So we have, yeah. So, so Victoria's archeologist can pull out more artifacts than you have space for. That's interesting. So even though they can handle two, that's actually really good then. Cause you can produce two in one city and fill up two archeological museums. Like we overbuilt archeologists. I didn't know it worked like that. All right, um, we actually need to go wherever. Yeah, let's just do it. See if we can get some promotions here. So 
So I guess we just build military now and prepare to fight. That's still fine. I mean, that's three turns from done. I have a hard time switching away from that. Encampment's good. Money's good to offset the cost of this. We are at 145 tourism. Let's see what we get. Scenarios, other games, dance party streams. Probably all of the above, man. We're gonna we're gonna dance party it up. Um Yeah, we'll we'll I wanna work on scenarios just for achievements for a while. Um but we'll do regular games in there as well. No visit from the bestie guys, heart. Sorry to uh, disappoint. Alright, well I was gonna steal this. And it still seems valuable, but I need to disrupt his rocketry. Where's your completed one? Here? Okay. You get so many questions. I'm sure she'll show up at some point. Joint war, yeah. Might need to... Might need to work on that. So we are up to almost a thousand tourism per turn, which is pretty typical. Uh, I think we had like twelve hundred ish with Congo and over a thousand with America. It's just a matter of getting there before they can get to space. Oh, damn. Wow, dude. Way to be bad. We have eight envoys. said Congo is probably the strongest culture sieve. Uh, do you think based on how much deity goes to war with you that Gorgo is just as strong? No. Um, I think Gorgo is really strong for other things. Um, I think Gorgo in general is strong. And I think you can muster a culture victory with anybody as long as you have a dominant early game. Um, but she doesn't have anything that helps her with tourism. And that's really what you need for uh, a culture victory. Like, like the only reason that we're kind of in this game is because of our archaeological museums. Like, we have, we have one, two, three, four archaeological museums, which is essentially eight. So even though we only have a limited amount of cities, we're getting a ton of tourism from our unique ability here. And Gorgo doesn't have anything like that. Like she's pretty good at progressing through the tree. And like I said, if you have a dominant early game, I think you I think anybody can go for a culture victory. But um Yeah, I don't think you, I don't I don't think because because the great people generation with Congo, it's too strong. Too strong.
I forgot to see how much it changed. What about Catherine? Uh, we haven't gotten a victory with Catherine yet. I think Catherine's pretty weak. I think she's one of the worst leaders, honestly. Peter for Cultural Victory? Yeah. It's interesting. Um, you do need to build the Lavra, but you, you build it really fast. Uh, but then you do get the extra Great People points, which is pretty sweet. Um, it's kind of the same thing as, as England, where like you have a district that's really good, but doesn't help you with a Cultural Victory. So, you know, but extra faith and stuff could, could matter. Um, I'd like to try a Religious Cultural Victory with Peter. Um, that, that actually sounds really interesting to me. So we may do that at some point. Yeah, that actually sounds like a lot of fun. He has a 3,000 military score. Holy jeez. So we're getting five culture per turn. I better win. He's got another completed one over there. Oh my god, we're gonna lose this. We're gonna lose to a space race. Oh, he got the cosmetics. Sure. Yeah, my nighter. My nighter's useless now. Let's see if he wants another one. Congo, uh, Congo has some weird religious syner synergy, Mana Martin. Um, he gets apostles whenever he builds like a Mabanza or something else or a theater square. Um, but that doesn't, he can't win a religious victory. At least we had friends this game. I like your attitude, Aaron. I like it a lot. Okay. So that's cute, but it doesn't do that much. Yeah, he does get the bonuses. It's just kind of erratic. Like, you never know if people are going to spread their religion to you. Yeah, he gets, like, all the Fowler bonuses or whatever. Pedro culture victory is very good. Yes. Great person bonus and culture bonus from theater squares. Like, we, we got a theater, we, a Pedro culture victory. It wasn't as impressive as the Congo one, but it was it was quite good. So we're there. Okay, here's where we need to go then. Persia's the real threat. Is there anything else that we could be running spy-wise? That doesn't matter, that's defensive. No. Yeah, I like culture too. It's kind of the hardest one to get, but it's uh, it's pretty pretty satisfying when you can get there.
thinking we can win this without war, maybe. Provided provided successful sabotages. Who's best for science victory? There are a lot of good choices for science victory. Germany's amazing because production. Um, anybody that can have strong production um, and strong strong adjacency bonuses on their science is really good. Like the themes, yeah. Cool game mechanic there. Wink right back at you, Zygmunt. <laughs> um, Germany. I don't think Samaria is that good for science. Um, I think Germany. I think uh, Montezuma. And I think Brazil. If you're going for science. Damn. Can we grab any more spies? We are capped. So we're full up. We're missing tons of music. Tons of art. It's because this jerk face has it all. is nine great works. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. If we had all this stuff, we'd be full up. <laughs> I don't know if they're garbage. I mean, they're 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 pretty interesting. I just don't think that they have any particular advantages towards uh towards the space race. I mean, they're a pretty strong sieve, but. And they get a little extra science from their improvement, but give me give me the Aztecs where I can use a builder to build a uh, spaceport in five turns. That seems good. Five turns till social media. Really weak, uh, great people game. Alliance expired. Oh, come on. You know you want to. You love us. You love me, Gandhi. 43. I've never declared war this game. You have to love me. Love me! Sorry. Take it all back. Um, that's probably overkill. <laughs> yeah, I've got I've got a few international trade routes going. All right, where are you going? Got someone going to Ray. We already disrupted this rocketry, so that's good. Sparta it is. Sixty three percent. Get her done. Please. Hmm, boy. You thought a Samaria was amazing at science? If you can get a lot of barb camps? Yeah, but it's situational. Any anybody's good if dot dot dot.
but like you know I, I would say Brazil's better because you get a better better adjacency bonuses um, with Brazil so you can you can take advantage of uh, the, the campus adjacency bonuses earlier and then um, and then they have great people like easier to get great scientists and stuff Can cancel spaceports with nukes as well. That is true. That is a viable. That's true, Burton. We could just get some nukes. There we go. Sing for you? You don't want me to sing. Trust me. Believe me on that one. Yeah, maybe. I mean, at least with Brazil, you start with a rainforest bias versus you don't really start with a barb bias except it's just called deity <laughs> which is a fair which is a fairly reliable bias to be you know to be frank on that but so we're going to have trade routes to Everybody, everybody, right? One, two, three, four, five. So as soon as we, we run online communities, the um, tourism will kick in. Can never compete against the war carts? Just pray. <laughs> Spam units and try to counter them. The, the, the war cart's really good but it falls off really quickly because it is your first unit. So if you can just buy yourself enough time, you can usually beat it. But it is, uh, it's a really strong unit. It's hard to do. Which of all my important nothing shall I tell you first? Okay, um, I'm going to get rid of the money. Let's see what this does to our tourism. Do our cards upgrade to different units? Yeah. Yeah, hoplites are really strong. Oh, my keyboard doesn't work. I can't tell you about war cards. Are there two spies disrupting this? Yeah. Yep. But he's stalled. Hojo is a concern. It's fine. All right, well, we might as well finish off the civics tree. I think we're all good. Is it knights? Okay. I wasn't sure. I hate not having my keyboard. So dumb. All right, so we're at 820 tourism, and that's going to boost pretty significantly, I believe. Or not at all. You know, whatever. Tourism. We've got tourism there. Tourism there. OK. 
Okay, so we have to go... Okay, so... Is that one going to give us tourism? <laughs> no, of course not. I have two trade routes. I should be getting the tourism. It's really dumb. Yeah, sometimes, I don't know, sometimes my keyboard forgets that it's a keyboard. It's weird. Two sixteen. It should be going up by more now. Yes. Who's fighting? These guys? Oh, are they are they at war again? Yes, they are. Yeah, so he failed the first one. We've got another shot at it. So I'm going to go after the great work. 223. So seven per turn. What are some good strategies with Harold? Um, like the one, the one where you concede. <laughs> um, Her Harold, you you have to, yeah, you have to go with like an island map. You have to, you have to, ta oh god damn it, you have to tailor him. I'm gonna need the discount. You have to tailor your game for Harold. It's it's just hard. Like I I think that the sea resources are really bad in um, Civ Six. They need a buff. They need they need at some point to provide culture, or not culture, but uh, production. Speaking of, we did win with Harold. We did. We did Taylor. Uh, we did Taylor Brazil. You're right. Go, go, Navy. But yeah, you you need you need like there there needs to be more than just the Pantheon. Like, there needs to be some harbor district that actually provides... I know that there are ones that provide production, but there, there, needs to be, there need to be ones that actually provide production for the tile itself and not the building. Because then if you get pillaged, you're screwed. Girlfriend doesn't even allow you to play Harold. <laughs> Canada would be cool. I'm looking forward to the South Asia ones. I think that'll be really fun. And then I hope that the, I hope sometime this summer they come out with like some Native American ones. I want to see like Hiawatha or Pachacuti or like people like that. Siam. Siam would be neat. Mongols. I mean, there are a bunch. Okay, he has now begun. I'm 
Man, our tourism's low. Wish they would do the Sioux. That'd be interesting. They should totally bring back the Sioux. I'd be down for that. Terrible, Burton. That's terrible. I like it. <laughs> Jeez. Yep, UN needs to come back. That's what I keep saying. All right. Good job, buddy. What do you get to be? Seriously, no rocket scientists ever. Want to buy rocket scientists. I don't understand. So we're good on Rome. We need to go to Germany and Persia still, even though we already have trade routes. So I guess we'll go from here, even though there are barbarians there. That seems dumb. <laughs> Burton, jeez, man. <laughs> Terrible. Lumber mills pillage, that's fine. Could use a few builders. Over halfway there. <laughs> Terrible, Zygmunt. Can you seriously? <sighs> Succeeded though. Gotta get over to Germany now. All right, I'm going to the German capital. Give me tourism. Why does that not work? God, I, I, I want I want Hojo's land so bad. <laughs> oh my goodness. All there is to do is just prep with military and wait. Killed. So let's get another one. Pretty much the most important thing. Yeah, it's true. The Celts were really cool in uh, Civ Five, in my opinion. <laughs> you don't know any leaders from Bangladesh. <laughs> Does anyone? Do the people of Bangladesh? I'm not sure that they do. So 
we failed in Ray. Germany is going real fast because Hansa's. Okay, I'm going I'm going to your capital. Don't understand why why it doesn't work. So we're getting seven per turn. All right, I don't feel like doing this math in my head. Minus 277. Oh, right, I don't have a keyboard. So 27 more turns. Oof. That's a long time to disrupt rocketry. <laughs> Come on, spies. I have amenity issues too. So let's trade. Ooh. <gasps> Give me all of them? Sure. Three amenities for 11 gold per turn. Seems good. Hello? And we're frozen. <laughs> Hello? Germany. What the hell? Please? I just wanted your luxuries. All right, let me unplug and plug my keyboard back in. You would have taken anything, probably. Hold on. Just let him stare a little longer. He does have nice eyes. a nice beard. All right, my keyboard works again, but we are frozen. Ay yay yay. All right. Sorry YouTube. We'll be back for the final episode in just a moment.